I welcome you to the Big Fat Mixed Media Tribe just after Christmas. So we are going to make an art journal page uh, inspired by this rather unusual uh, mood which you get into right after Christmas. You know when the celebrations are over, the lights are off, the presents are opened and it's a storm outside. It's a grey, wet storm outside. <laughs> So I'm using um, decorative paper from a very uh, generic paper pad bought in an ordinary supermarket. It is produced in Netherlands, but it is very good quality. It's 200 gram paper. And all these papers have something to do with um, space. And I chose the uh, right slightly purpley blue one with stars. Uh, and I tore it down to be... Uh, slightly smaller than my art journal page and just when gluing it down I noticed that I've torn out the corner of the paper but I've decided to leave it there it's an art journal page so let's see what it will add to the page uh, now I'm toning down a little bit the uh, paper I want it to be a little lighter a little brighter so I'm using white gesso but I also added just a couple of specks of Brasho turquoise powder to not have the gesso entirely white, to have some tone to it. And then I'm using a wet, wet tissue to spread the gesso in a very, very thin layer. And since I don't like the stripes, and it's very difficult to get rid of stripe, stripes just by using the wet tissue, I'm pushing into my page a piece of uh, tissue paper, which gives a uniform look with a couple of creases, meaning it adds to the background. And then I'm cutting out uh, little houses and trees using a cutting die from a black cardstock and some French newspaper. I do not want to create a scene like a rows of buildings. I just want to create a background on one part of my journal page. So I've decided approximately where I want the houses to go. And I start by gluing down the paper, newspaper houses. Again, I'm not putting them in one line. I'm trying to fill one side of the page. And this time, instead of the gel medium, I am using a heavy gel. Because the newspaper paper is very thin and I don't want it to get wet quickly and crinkle. And before gluing down the black cardstock houses, I cut little squares out of yellow cardstock to imitate the lights in the window. And I'm still using the heavy gel to glue everything down. The heavy gel is a real joy to work with. It's easy to control and it doesn't soak into the paper and doesn't wrinkle and crinkle it. There is no rhyme and reason as to where I'm putting the houses. I'm just filling the one half of the page. So this will be the last element that needs to be glued and then I'm letting everything dry. And let's turn to the other side of my page where the focal elements will be and I'm creating a snow mountain or just a part of ground for my focal points to sit on and I'm using white acrylic paint to imitate snow and also since the background is quite dark I'm adding white paint where the focal figures will be 
to make it easier to paint on top and to use color on top. Uh, while the right side of my page is drying, I'm continuing to add layers on the left side of the page and I chose a stencil with circles. I'm still I still haven't got the snowflake stencil. I've been thinking about this the whole winter and I still haven't done this. So I'm using random circle stencil just to add white paint on that side of the page. And I like how it brings more or less everything together and how it tones down the yellow. And now I'm roughly sketching the two figures with a pencil. I am not a great painter or a great illustrator, so <laughs> I don't do this very often. But I'm trying to draw a reindeer and a Santa Claus. And I'm coloring the figures using um, my ink pencils. And later I will go over them with ordinary colored pencils. And since I'm not a great colorist, and you certainly shouldn't be taking <laughs> coloring advice from me, I will speed up this part of the art journal page. And skip to the last steps of coloring my figures. I like to use ink pencils for this because the color is brighter and more intense so it's easier to uh, paint with them if you have other layers of color underneath. So now my figures are colored and I'm using white acrylic marker to add some highlights. I also went around my figures with a black permanent marker to outline the colored images and make them stand out more against the background. And while I was coloring the figures, there was something on the left side of the page which was bothering me. I really didn't like the whiteness of the page itself in my art journal. So I've decided to visually separate the uh, journaled part from the white background of the journal itself. And I just added a copper colored uh, tape. And I like it much better now. And to further uh, unite both sides of the page, I added um, a white structure paste through a stencil. Now it's time for the sentiment. <laughs> and this was, I only, before starting the page, this was the only thing I knew that I want to include this phrase. I'm using black acrylic marker to write directly on my page. So Christmas is over, the job is done, and Santa is sitting down with Rudolf and having a conversation about filling somehow the next um, 364 days. <laughs> So the last thing left to do is to add some highlights to the text and I hope you really enjoyed the page and the idea behind this page. And I'm leaving you with some still images from this art journal page and I hope you got inspired to create uh, a page reflecting your current mood.
and bye bye and see you soon